Hello, welcome to a Monday night in the model room. Yes, Model Monday is back again. Um, I wanted to show you tonight, um, as you've probably seen from a couple of, well, one was a short and one was a, went on as a normal video actually. Um, I've been away at North Yorkshire Moors again, um, had a great few hours um, in the signal box row. Um, I did put a little video on here for you guys too. Um, it is filmed. I know a lot of you don't like it that way on here, but it's better for Instagram, dare I say. So, um, yeah, I did do some filming for Instagram in the Go For The Signal box of Owen, um, which was a fabulous few hours. Obviously, I'd been in the Gormont box a few times, but so it was nice to sort of see how it's done at Goldland and how it differed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed just that little insight that's on here. And a black five is rolling. In the form of my Eric, which you know, I did a little bit of token work. I didn't plan it, obviously, you know, to be there at that point when Dale was there with the token. <laughs> no, no plan at all. <laughs> anyway, um, so I digress a little bit. So, yeah, as you know, I've been away for Easter there. Um, and while I was there, obviously, I always go in the shed shop, um, part of the MPV, got the steps, those who are familiar nice little shed shop at the top of there and i've bought another diesel yes the queen of steam has bought another diesel but it is a very important integral part of the growland layout um because it is the one and only sevilla i think it carried said sevilla <laughs> so it's a big dirty diesel in where it channels up and down and goes whippy that one um, <laughs> So yeah, when um, we saw on top of the, the, the sort of the models and Simon out of the shed was like, yeah, it is actually numbered and it's got the nameplate on, but it's the one here. So we had out of the box, had a look at it and uh, that was always going to come home, wasn't it? Now it is actually sound fitted. Now, as you all know, this is a, an analog layout um, and always has been. So I've kind of, yeah, I have got sound locos, but I've also got a lot of just DC, um, but since the acquisition of my little controller here that does old gauge Eric, you know, I bought to get old gauge Eric working, obviously I can actually plug it in to grow land. So the few sound locos I've got are actually now coming to life under this new controller. So as well as sound fitted, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before here, <laughs> it's a rarity, and don't get too used to it you diesel fans, but I'm going to give you some diesel sound, <laughs> so, so here we go, tonight, yeah, it's running trains too, so you'll love it, and it's just giving, letting her stretch her legs around the ground and lay out, and with you carriages behind too, you can imagine, on the way for Whitby or something, um, but yeah, so here, here's the villa. So are diesel trains like buzzes? Is where there's one, you get two? <laughs> yeah, so here's Sevilla. Uh, that one I just couldn't resist. Uh, that's obviously the Lady Diana I got from the Chester Model Centre back last summer. So here's Sevilla. So as you can see, very weathered, dirty, dirty diesel. <laughs> so numbered up and Oh, Real Glow says the name. Hopefully that's showing. So, shall we, uh, Ooh, shall we uh, see what this diesel can do on the growling layout? Breaks off as well. There we go. Should we go? I guess so. Oh, and there's some steam left, keeping their eye on things. Just let them know they're not in charge of these diesels, you know?
I'll take some of the speed down now. I'll show you it. running a little slower past my boy. I mean, it is a station, so. <laughs> nice and slow now, look, across the crossing. Five mile an hour speed limit here. Let's pick it back up a little. A little bit too slow. And now it comes around into towards Gulf and we'll take the pace down again. Good view of the, the weathered roof from that actually. Okay. Yeah, it's complaining at steam. <laughs> Let's pick the speed back up. That's the thing I'm discovering, obviously all you guys are very used to, but with DCC, I actually stopped. Here's the controller. So we actually took the, the speed down when the train was about here, like just actually killed the speed, but it went all the way around the loop, through Lepsha, all the way back up, around the little squat, and that's where it stopped. <laughs> so that takes some getting used to and obviously when Eric was fitted on the little piece of straight that was a bit concerning at one point because I'm just used to it. you press stop and things stop but I stop it now say like see zero we're still moving <laughs> admitted it wasn't going as fast then I was perhaps going a bit quick so for me pressing it was it about there it stuck until there to stop so yeah I don't I'm you know, telling you guys stuff you already know, but like, we get the speed right off <laughs> for 28 here. It should pick, 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 come on. Go, 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 go. And we'll just do, just to show you. So here we go. As it comes down here, I'm going to take the speed right down to zero. So it was zero with that point. Let's just see how far it goes. So zero here. And it's still going. Still going, still going, still going. So that has actually stopped nicely in the station. But if you see my hand and where the controller is here, that's when I press the that's when we go down to zero. And it's literally gone a full lap. All the way around and stop there so just the length of the station building more or less when I press stop so yeah if any of you are brand new to <laughs> DCC like me just be careful how quick you go make sure if you're in a loop that's fine but if you're on a straight end watch out <laughs> right so there we go Dirty Diesel's at Bowland So my steam guys, don't get too worried. Obviously, every heritage line has to have a few diesels um, to make it authentic. So I've had to obviously try and get so the fleet the the Groland like <laughs> to fit in. So, um, but let me know. What do you think? Was it nice to see a diesel, little noisy diesel, run around here? Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm like a child on the sound buttons, but <laughs> but yeah, did you enjoy it? hopefully so anyway have a good week and you never know model monday may come back next week we'll have to see so enjoy your modeling <laughs>